Um, from from La Barcelona, we've been uh, lucky to test the airboard and uh, have the opportunity to explore uh, his uh, low power and the efficiency of uh, programming easily. And uh, we end up uh, having good uh, results with uh, some students we play a bit with uh, the possibility of harvesting energy. And um, the airboard came as a really efficient tool for that. The easy uh, way of programming it. Uh, was Fast, the prototypes. Hello, we are uh, researchers from IAC, the Institute for Advanced Architecture of Catalonia, and we've been working with the Airboard on our most recent prototype called the Ambient Energy Machine at the moment. Uh, we decided to work with the Airboard because of its compact nature, uh, its very low energy usage, and the ability to upload sketches wirelessly and to offer us uh, Bluetooth connectivity with smartphones or any other applications. Um, our project is based around harvesting energy from piezoelectrics electrics and using this to charge a battery and output to programmed lights and sound. Uh, this is our latest prototype. Can you explain it? Um, yeah, so we've tried to combine um, the resources here at, at EAC and Fab Lab and um, try to create a, a product out of um, combination of new technologies, uh, wireless programmability, and um, fabrication techniques uh, using 3D printing um, <clears throat> and composite plastics. So we have um, the piezoelectric encased inside a composite polymer, which protects it from the, the, the elements. And using the, the hinging, we can produce up to 30 volts uh, in, in an alternating current, um, albeit with a very low current. Um, and the use of the airboard allows us to operate at such a low uh, power output. We're using the airboard to shine light onto the same surfaces that we're using to capture the wind. So we've fabricated uh, glass fiber fins which uh, catch ambient energy from wind and rain stresses, environmental stresses. Um, this produces the energy and this is also used uh, the NeoPixels in this case, which we're using, is shining the light at the right distance that we need to portray on the surface and to create the luminance. Um, it's also interests us about the idea of uh, connecting uh, nodes uh, around the field. Um, as part of the Smart Citizen team, uh, we're quite interested about the idea of uh, nodes that are in the field can send sensors data uh, over the web and be accessible at any time uh, from your, your web browsers. Um, yeah, I think there's a good potential for the airboards to uh, reach the field.